Hello my friend and how are you doing? And next I am planning to show you that why this my car's engine is not starting. And there is really situation that when I start that my engine engine don't start. And 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 now there could be issue that I have low compression rate and that's I have to measure that and eliminate this defect and let's go to look that how I measure it and how I try to fix that my issue okay and what tools I need for that engine pistons compression test first I need this spark plug this socket that I can open the spark plug and then I need also wrench where is 10 millimeter socket and then I need this uh, compression tester this piston compression pressure tester and here is one of those testers and there are those hoses what I connect to this spark plug hole and only these things and also of course pencil that I can write down those results and then we go to look this engine array okay and I start this my job so that I take first these ignition coils these electric cables away and I press this central area and then I pull out in this way and let's look closer at how it happens Okay, and there is then this, this connector and I need to press that area first in down and then same time pull out this cable. And do not pull out through these cables because these cables can be cut and better way is to take grip in these sides and then press in here and then it opens. Like in that way. This is the better way to pull out. Okay, and for that opening I need now 10 millimeter socket and wrench. And in that way, when I insert, I can open this loop and then I can use my fingers. And there is then this, then when I rotate that coil, there is this ignition coil. And I have also marked in there those cylinder numbers, number one in here. And then I take that coil away and that one and that one. And let's continue. Okay, and then I have to take these spark plugs away. And here is one of these example. And for that opening job, I need now 16, one six millimeter longer socket what fits in that way and then I have to connect this my socket in here and in these holes there are those these spark plugs in inner and look we need also this little bit longer bar what is about one two three four inches long or 20 centimeters and in that way I insert that in here and then I take my wrench Okay, here is my wrench and I insert that in here and opening direction is in that way in that way, now I open and this looks quite tight and now I have to go to take also my specific grease for the spark plugs because this is very difficult to open. Okay, I go to take my grease also. Okay. Now I 
how I use my fingers. And if these spark plugs are difficult to open, I have to insert in here a little bit copper paste in here. Okay, and here is this my spark plug. Okay, and then I can also take these spark plugs away using my electric drill driver. And first I have to check that this is rotation direction. And then I take this my electric drill driver, put it in here, and then I insert it. And now this spark plug is free, good. And then I take next one, next one in here. Okay, and it is tight. And maybe it is better if I if I use this my tool first. That way, and then I open also that. Next one. Okay, good. And then I use this my rains here. Okay, and now spark plug is free. Good. And then next one. And it is also free good. Okay, and now I have removed all of these spark plugs. And next step is that I install in there this my this compression tester. And this is my next step task. And then when I have this my current spark plug, I have to only choose this my compression tester for the same size these areas. I can measure that like in some measurement tool. And actually it is also possible to check so that when I install that in here and if this is too big or too small then this rotation is not not possible. But now it seems that this rotates very nicely and I can use only my hands in that way. And now this like spark plug number one when it stops this is ready for measurement okay and then I take this my piston compression tester and I press that side and it opens and then I have to check that there is this bar amount in here ready I can change that using these buttons and then I check that this is cylinder one there is cylinder one, and in that button I can change cylinder two, three, four. Look that right corner. There's like eight, twelve cylinder, like Bugatti engine. But now I tested this cylinder one, and in that area I insert that down, and then I connect that hose in here. This, and this, this way and then we listen this click and now it's ready for compression and now I insert that in this way okay good Okay, now I tested that, and now when I little bit I move that out in this way, I can see that I open this my, and I press that pressure, and then I open, and then we can see in here that what is this maximum amount? It's 12.45 is the cylinder one, and this result is good. This is good result. And then I take this my paper. Okay, and here is this my test paper. And I take pencil. And then this first one is 12.45 12, 12 in here. And 
I insert this amount in here in that first one 12 point 45 and this is excellent result it is like in excellent in that area good and then I do this test for cylinder 2 what is in here and, and cylinder 3 and cylinder 4 and I will do that next and before of that I take of course this my hose away in here okay then I open this my hose and I change that in this cylinder 2 and then I check that this gasket is in there ready this black gasket everything looks good and I clean that and then I insert in here and I rotate that using my fingers good now it's fine and now this my tester is in the cylinder 2 and then I insert that in here and then we can look that better. Okay and then I measure also this cylinder 2 amount in here and it is 12.15 and it is also excellent excellent amount in here well okay and then I do in third cylinder test okay and now I install this my tester in this cylinder 4 in that way good and then I change this my cylinder this in this 4 cylinder 4 and then now there is cylinder 4, ok. And let's test what happens in that way. And then let's look these amounts in here. What we can get in that amount. And now I go to start this my engine. Ok, and then I start this my engine. And let's look at what is cylinder 4 results. Okay, and cylinder 4 results are very good. There is 13. 13 is this amount and this is good results and then I write down this 13.5 and this is good result okay and now when we look in this my results everything looks good okay and then what these my results tells to me? Because now every cylinder is in this excellent area, what was 10 to 12 bar, even one was even higher. That means that now this issue that why this my car is not starting, it is not this piston compression rate. And what I need to do next? I need to next investigate that what another things is wrong in this my car. Maybe this ignition coils is bad. And this is I have to test next that is this my ignition coil bad? And then of course I have to test my spark plugs and then all other electronic that why this my car is not starting. But in that my case now I am lucky that I have good compression test and you can also test in your car that what are these results. Okay, cool. And then my friend, thumbs up if you learned something and this is useful to you.